housewarming gift. May I come in? Please, please. Thank you. What are you painting? Walls. I thought Big John was going to take care of that. Well, I got bored. I can't believe you let him put that bug in your ear. I mean, we've had this whole interior painted last spring. We are no longer in charge here, Cass. I have to bite my head off very fast. Well, obviously I do, or else you don't listen. Now, don't come in here and try to boss me around in my own house, and don't try to foist gifts on me. I'm sorry, Frankie, but this voice won't be the last. Hello? Now, Vicky, it's Spencer. Is Ryan there? Hey, Spence. No, uh, I'm sorry he's not. Well, if he was here, though, I don't think he'd come to the phone. I gather he's shown no signs of forgiving me. Well, <clears throat> let's just say I don't exactly think you're the top thing on his mind. Maybe that's a good sign. What is the top thing? Getting a job, Spence. Come on, do you have any idea what it's like in this economy? <laughs> no, you, you probably wouldn't do that. No, I'm sorry, Vicky. Uh, it's been a while. Well, I guess I'll just lay low a bit longer. Don't even mention I called, okay? You got it. So long. Hi! I think that's a good idea. Well, I'm back. Did you get it? Ryan Shirt says. Oh, you <laughs> forgot. I did. I was so busy talking to Vicky about Ryan not talking to me that it never crossed my mind to ask his shirt size. This Christmas shopping thing is new to me. I must say it's fun. You're doing very well. Well, that's because I have a good instructor. Yes, I must admit I have a certain plan for it. <laughs> Iris, uh, do you mind if I speak to your date for a moment, please? I'll be back before they serve the soup. <laughs> you seem to be in a pretty good mood for a man who's lost everything. I beg your pardon? You have to come over the financial wire this morning. Every company you own has had you removed from the board of directors pending the outcome of this money laundering investigation. Well, I suppose that's to be expected. I suppose it's a hell of a lot better than you deserve. Major political and social doctrine, 19th century, Jeremy Bentham. Actions of government should be judged by the extent to which they promote the greatest happiness for the greatest number. Are you sure he's studying all that? Sounded a bad idea to me. After 200 more years, it's the same game. Guys, I can't believe I'm just missed. You should be a groupie. Can you just stop with that? What, is, what do you need, Polly Sire, of BC you for? You're rich and famous. You've got the wrong girl. Speaking of rich and famous, here comes Dean. Dean. Hey. 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? You're studying for the post exam, and it's awful. Well, uh, studying and stuff, and, and uh, just uh -huh. learning. You, you guys are on the Dean, right? Hey, man. Hey. Yeah? Why don't you join us for a few minutes? Why don't you uh, all right, I can stay for a few minutes. Okay. I won't say anything. <laughs> so, did you meet any VJs yet? Uh, Okay, Chris, uh, define the evolution of the uh, common law and the Magna Carta. <laughs> give me a break. Well, oh, Professor Lester's not going to give you a break, so come on. Aren't you um, glad you don't have to know all this intellectual garbage? Mm -hmm. Damn, this is garbage. 
garbage. The common law is the basis of everything that we have to do. The rule of thumb is part of the common law. It says that a man can beat his wife with any stick he chooses as long as the diameter is no larger than the husband's thumb. That's the common law. No, no, I'm sure there, I'm sure there are rules. But it's just as Frank would have said. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell It's Felix Benford, and he was uh, the leading opponent for the judicial restraint. Restraint in terms mm -hmm. of self restraint? Sort of. What it is is the restraint as opposed to um, Look, the self. It's me and self restraint don't even want to know from each other. You guys, I'm sorry. You guys just keep studying every day. I don't want to get in the way. Yeah, I've got to study here for about a minute. I don't know. Oh, hey, just really study hard, you guys. Thank you. Okay, Chris. Uh, common law from the Magna Carta. Education is very important. Right? Oh, great. Well, you sound just as, as, as bad as No, I need to have a little talk. Okay. Um, I don't... I want you to give him up the rest of your life. Just for me, okay? I would do anything just for you. Would you? Yeah. Well, then you want to do something for me? You want to ace your, your final exams and not go blowing them off just because you can't keep your hands off each other? Yeah, but okay? I just... I no buts! No, now, are your books still out in the top? Right? Yes. Are, okay, now I'll go with you to the bank. Cass, don't you see you're doing exactly what we said we weren't going to do? right now. Uh-huh. And uh, then what would happen? I'll explain the case to you and we'll share the statement. I.E. spend the next 12 hours or so stuck in a car together. Won't those binoculars come in handy? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. So... Steven's lucky. He's got 
I'll tell you later. Love you. What? Mm. Wait. You too. Mm. Bye-bye. Bye. Hope he gets it if that's what he wants. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's not that important to me, but it's important to him, so... Either way. It's like you guys are really going to have it all. Well, I didn't mean that. I know. I, I, I didn't... I didn't mean that either. I mean, I didn't mean the way it sounded. Don't worry about it. I guess I just, I can't help but wondering if I'm being punished. I mean, what did I do? Well, I can see you're not too sorry about delivering the word of what you perceive to be my demise. Not at all. Spencer, the borscht is getting warm, and I do hate to eat it then. Don't gloat too much, Michael. It could happen to anyone. If you're talking about me, I don't think so. I don't make deals with the devil. That's not what I remember. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Hudson, but yes, there is a telephone call for you in Ms. Gallant's office. Thank you. Oh, Franco, um, when Mrs. Corey shows up, could you tell her that uh, I'm on the phone, but I'll join her? Of course. Yes. Thank you. Don't you dare let that man spoil our lunch. I wouldn't give him the satisfaction. How much did you hear? Enough to feel for you, I... Do you really think you'll have to resign from the company? Well, if I want them to survive... I'd better do what I'm told. I'm so sorry, this is shattering. Me. I've had better days. And I will again, too. I don't doubt that. Iris, I came to this country without a penny. And I built an empire. If it goes, I'll build another. That's all. That's the spirit. And I'll see to it that when I go, that my sons have a legacy that they can be proud of. Silly, I'm only starting. I'm only halfway through my list. Mom, take it easy, please. Oh, stop plucking up with me. I'm fully recovered. I can see like an eagle in my energy. It's waning fast. If you want to go someplace else tonight. No, of course not. I'm meeting Michael here, and besides, Spencer Harrison can't ruin my favorite restaurant. What are you getting so uptight about? I have had some magnificent steakhouse. Remember a year ago the job we had at the Warren department stores, Mr. Warner's sweetheart was stealing the leg with money? Yeah, that's what it is. Frosted blue eyeshadow and white pancake makeup. <laughs> uh, I have to hand it to her, though. She had some scam running. Yeah. You sure did. You probably had to hide out in the fur vault all night long. Never have somebody make skin. Exactly what I'm talking about. No matter what we talk about, you bring it around to us getting back together again. Can't help it. Yes, you can. How? Just don't talk. Isn't that an unrealistic expectation? Cass, didn't I just tell you yesterday, just yesterday, that I am taking this one day at a time? Right? Yes. So I please give me a break, okay? I can't pretend that I don't want you back. Yes, you can try.
supposed to say that. Yeah, you see, I just figured that I would ask you and you could tell me everything that you did wrong so I could make sure that I don't do the same thing. Steve will play by himself for a while. I can't guarantee how long. Molly, what are you talking about? I just feel like, like you're a eunuch, okay? And you will be even more so after you get married. The babies. And then I feel terrible for feeling that way. I've told you a thousand times it's okay to feel that way. I mean, it's not something you have to beat yourself up about, you know, and, and feel like you're to blame. I feel like I am to blame. Repeat after me. I did not make this happen. I am not responsible. I can't. I mean, I know what I did. But in my heart, I... But you were identical twins. You were in love with these wonderful men who were going to get married. It just made a big difference. You can have more children. I can't have any. You can still be a mom. I mean, come on, you're Stephen's stepmom. And if you could just accept it, you could adopt a whole family and you could just love them to pieces. I could do this. Please, I mean, just try. Why did you Why feel like I asking me this? Can't we talk about it? I, I just want to talk about it the way we share other things. I mean, is, is this sacred? Molly, give me a break. All right, look, if you're trying to spare my feelings, just have me. No, not at all. Let me start at the beginning, okay? I mean, tell me how you felt when you first found out that you were pregnant. Come on, I mean, this isn't fair. Why not? Because we both know I got pregnant by mistake. How do you think that makes me feel? You see, I figured that since you've had some real problems, relationship wise, that you would definitely be more of an expert than, let's say, somebody that is doing okay. If there's a mistake to be made, I've probably made it. Exactly. Jenna and all of her college buddies, right? And they were t- 
talking about Magna Carta stuff. Carta. Magna Carta. Yeah. Well, that's that's exactly what I mean. Oh, cast left. I can tell you that that Freddy and the Dreamers had a number one hit, March 1965. It's called I'm Telling You Now, okay? But the Bill of Rights, give me a break. I don't know the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights from the grocery bill. Do you know what I'm saying? Did, did Jenna and her friends make you feel out of place? No, no, they were fine. They were, you know, if anything, they were snowed by the whole rock and roll candy garbage thing. No, no, they were nice. They, it was just quite obvious that college is college and music is music. Remember the Twain Shalane? This is really hard for Jenna to be in both places at the same time in her head. You know, and I, my problem is I don't know how to be, I, just to be. Do you know? I, I, Have you talked to Jenna about any of this? No, 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 I can't. I, I just, I mean, she's got a, it's enough to worry about with exams and with classes that she's missed. Forget. Well, I have learned a couple of things the hard way. And one thing is... big and as strong as it seems to be, then there's no question it's going to succeed. It'll be strong enough, no matter how it's tested. Yeah, well, it's, it's a lot to expect, don't you think? It took a long while for you and Jenna to let that love in. Absolutely. But now that it's come to the surface, I have a feeling that it's, it's plenty strong enough to survive. It's just like Brian Franklin. Well, I hope so. I hope so for both of us. I must say, I'm impressed with what I see here. Well, thank you very much. An affiliated microchip has a great reputation. Your resume fills the bill. You're young enough to grow with the company, old enough to have some experience. I think you might be the right man to head up our security system. Thank you, Ben. I must say I was a little bit surprised to get your call on the bill like that. We're always on the lookout for talented people. Uh, how'd you know that I was available? Through our contacts with the PD. I guess somebody mentioned you were sending out resumes. It happens a lot like that. But word of mouth. I see. So, may I assume that you're interested in considering our offer at the salary I mentioned? Sure can. Well, that's great. Right away. I'll be back in a bit. Hello. You know that this deal was a little bit too much of a lock. I'm afraid I don't follow. I'm a cop, Mr. Gallagher. I'm trained to spot a setup. I also happen to know that there are five other guys who are better qualified for this job than me, but it just sort of falls right into my lap. And you have a problem with that? You're damn straight I do. I just saw the note on your desk that uh, Mr. Spencer Harrison had called this morning. Times like this... Most guys would be extremely grateful for an in like yours. Well, I'm not grateful and I'm not buying. I don't need anyone to make my opportunities for me. I can make my own. Why can't you tell me what I need to know? I just don't know if I can. I mean, you don't know if you want to. Don't put words in my mouth. I, it's inevitable.
Stop trying to put yourself down just to make me feel better. It's true. The only truth that counts to me is that you can have children and I can't. Now, who says that's the only truth that counts? I do. Vicky, why can't you share that one difference with me? Look, this is hard. Please. Just tell me what it was like. I mean, how, how did you feel? I was, uh... I was scared. I was scared to death. I guess I just, uh... I knew I was gonna have to grow up, and I wasn't ready. I mean, because it, it was an accident? No. No, and I don't really think it has that much to do with age either. It was, it was like, I just knew I wasn't going to be able to be a child anymore. You know what I wanted? I wanted my mother. <laughs> Which is pretty weird, seeing as I never had her much to begin with. I guess I just wanted somebody to back me up, you know? Somebody who was going to say, you can do this. It's going to be all right. Then I thought about Donna. <laughs> I thought if she can do it, I can do it. Do you remember exactly when you conceived Stephen? Come on, Marley, I can't, I can't do this. What? I, I mean, is, is it too personal? Yes! You're asking me about a part of my life that's over. What do you mean? Stephen is still very much a part of you. Stephen, I'm talking about Jamie. You know, you're asking me very intimate details about a part of my life with the guy you're about to marry. These are not normal circumstances. I just, I need to know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Marley. Well, I guess that I'm going to the library because I do not know this stuff. You do. You just got to work on your retrieval system. Well, yeah, that's what always seems to freak out on me. That reminds me, did I show you this? Ooh. It's going to organize his entire life. Yeah, those things have to know. It'll handle his class assignments, um, schedule, address his phone number. We need to tell him to go to class. Can it beat him in the middle to keep him awake? <laughs> Boy, that must have cost you a bit of an arm and a leg. I've been saving six months for that. Lucky guy. So when did you get the dean, Jenny? It must be tough to pick out something, but the guy's got everything. I don't have for Dean yet. I don't have any money saved up on the Did we pay you for dancing that video? Not yet, and from what I hear, it won't be for a while. Yeah, I know. What am I going to do? Why can't you ask your folks? They're not exactly part of it, are they? Oh, right. I can't ask my parents to borrow money to, to get Dean a gift. No, no. What? Your folks don't like him? It's complicated. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't there a sign? On the window here that said help on it? It's been there forever. I don't think they have much luck at keeping help. Yeah, but if I could just get a part-time job, I'll save up enough money to get to my house. I'll be back. You know, I'm not, I'm not thinking of putting the news on Jenna. I mean, I'd drop it if I were you. She's gonna die over the next step. Bobby, feelings change. You're never gonna be able to do it. Ah, never say never. I'd hire her, wouldn't you? Anyway, there's only one problem. Let's start now. <laughs> Hold up. So much for getting it in. Uh, call us all right? It's all right. Dean's working. <laughs> this first time weddings are so lovely, especially when the couple is so perfect. Yeah, right. Well, I just hope we don't disappoint anyone. Molly and I have kind of frayed recently. Well, that's natural. Look, I've got to run to the hospital, then I'm going to meet Marley. Yeah. Can I drop you off somewhere? No, darling, I, I'm sure Michael will be here soon, and I'll call the car if I need him. Thank you. Okay. 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 Would you excuse me a minute? Of course, I was wondering how long it would take. Right back. <laughs> Disturb you, I just wanted to offer season's greeting. Well, being with, with Iris has filled you with Christmas cheer? Mm, yes, it has. You should give her the benefit of the doubt more often. Oh, I do. She's really lovely company. Isn't it lovely you found each other? Well, I didn't know you cared who I saw. 
I care about my family, Spencer. Iris is a member of my family. Well, I've kept Iris waiting, and you know how she hates waiting. Yeah. Happy holidays, both of you. Yeah. <clears throat> ah, just by chance, did he happen to mention that every single one of the companies he owns that have removed from the board of directors today? Oh, my goodness, they certainly didn't waste any time. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Is that you think? I don't know what I think about Spencer. Grand. Five five thousand dollar watches. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh. Count it up, Frankie. Uh, it's enough to cover your overhead for a couple of months. No, 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 no. Our overhead. What? Come on, Frankie. Come on, don't make me beg. Do you want to be my partner? Okay. Okay, I'll think about it. All right, great, fine. Just think about it. Uh, fine, as long as you say yes next day. Yeah, okay. Sure, okay, sure, fine. So please, do I beg? I beg, please? Ryan, please. Ryan, get up. Please. Please. Thank you, please. Thank you, please. Now my day begins. Where have you been? I was, uh, I was over at Vicky's. Something's bothering you, I can tell. No. We agreed we wouldn't do this. 
Do what? Pretend, cover up. Pretend things are great when they're not. Look, nothing's changed. I thought we weren't going to keep secrets from each other. Anyway, I want to ask you something, and I want you to be totally honest with me. Sure, thanks. When you found out that Ricky and Ryan were engaged, how did it make you feel? Are you asking me what I think you're asking me? So the bottom line is Spencer has absolutely no say in any of the companies he owns until this investigation is over, or he's exonerated. You seem pretty pleased. I think that Spencer's getting exactly what he deserves. But don't you feel the least bit sorry for him? I mean, he built that all out of nothing. Spencer took shortcuts. And believe me, shortcuts always catch up with him. Oh, I don't know. It seems like such a waste. I better be going. Hannah is probably polishing the silver with library paste. I can't think why I, I, I keep her on. That's because you have a generous soul. Well, warmish. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. No, on my honor. Call me. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gratified to know you've been trying to get me, but the bad news reached its way here. No, I don't see it as a reason to cancel the Hawaiian investment scheme. I want you to go full speed ahead with that. that make it look good. And I want Michael Hudson to get me. Just do it. So I told him I'd think about it. You're considering going to work for Ryan? Yes, I just told him I would think about it overnight. That's all. It's no big deal. I can't even believe you had to entertain such That's a thing. That's all I'm doing is thinking about I it. I just hired you back. So what am I, the in-house detective for life here? I, I didn't know it was a lifetime. We're point. just starting. Byron is doing great. You and I have always worked extremely well together. Why would you dump a winning combination like that for a risky deal with Ryan? I didn't say I was going to, Cass. I just said I would not think week. about it. You'll be broke in one week. Listen, to get out of here, I have a lot of things I'd have we to have, we, have a, we have a contract. Oh, 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 yes, we most certainly do. We have a verbal contract, and you shook on it. And I'm a lawyer, so don't you go messing with me. Sick about her. 
You're being defensive already. Of course I am. But I can't believe you would ask me something like that. Can you just answer it? Yes. I was very happy for Vicky and Ryan. I mean, how else would I feel? I just thought maybe you'd regret it a little bit that she was able to fall in love with another man. Mary, what do I have to do? I mean, how many times do I have to tell you I love you, not Vicky? I don't know. She's just after me and after me about really intimate details about my pregnancy. And she's put a lot of pressure on her to have a kid, and most of it she's putting on herself. And she's my sister. A, a copy of me. It's just that I know things she's not. I mean, she's right. It's not fair. I've got to run to the hospital. We'll talk about this later. Why won't anyone answer me? There just has to be a way to help her. I... Really, of course. What? We're not being able to have a baby is the exact same thing that messed up her marriage with Jake. I mean, it has never been resolved. Yeah, well, maybe it can't be resolved. No. I have to do something to help my sister. I will. 